Tokyo, Reuters, Asia stocks wavered on Tuesday after data showed both hot and cold patches in the Chinese economy, but losses were limited as investors turned their focus to corporate earnings from Syria. Spread bettors expected European stocks to open higher following overnight Wall Street gains, with Britannia Euro trademark SFTSE rising 0.15%, Germania Euro trademark SDAX gaining 0.3%, and France Euro trademark SCAC climbing 0.3%. The dollar was barely changed, with demand for safe haven US Treasuries ebbing as risk appetite improved in parts of the broader market as investors took the view that Western led strikes on Syria were a one off intervention. China Euro trademark S economy grew a welcome 6.8% in the first quarter of 2018 from a year earlier, official data showed on Tuesday, unchanged from the previous quarter. But separate data showed March industrial output missed expectations and first quarter fixed asset investment growth slowed, tempering equity market gains. A Euro or other are two stories here, one backward looking and one forward looking A Euro said Robert Subaraman chief economist for Asia excluding Japan at Nomura in Singapore. A euro underneath the stable GDP growth is quite rapid rebalancing from industrial, investment and old economy sectors to consumption, services and new economy sectors like tech. This is encouraging a euro. A euro or at more timely March data, however, point to nascent signs of a growth slowdown underway, led by these old economy sectors a euro subaraman said. Missia Euro trademark S broadest index of Asia Pacific shares outside Japan edged down 0.15%. South Korea A Euro trademark S Kospi dipped 0.15% and Hong Kong A Euro trademark S Hang Seng was flat. Shanghai A Euro trademark S index shed 0.35% and Japan A Euro trademark S Nikkei was unchanged. Australian stocks gained 0.3% with mining shares gaining on higher aluminum prices. While Saturday a Euro trademark S missile strikes were the biggest intervention by Western countries against Syria, investor risk appetite improved on speculation that the attacks would not lead to prolonged conflict. A Euro or ETH markets had been bracing for a possible escalation in Syria following President Trump a Euro trademark S earlier warnings. Military action, however, has been limited, bringing relief a Euro said Kota Hirayama, senior emerging markets economist at SMBC Nikko Securities in Tokyo. A Euro or that said, the underlying picture has not changed. Conflict continues in Syria and trade issues remain unresolved. Geopolitics will impact the markets again a Euro. The Dow gained 0.87% and the S&P 500 rose 0.8% on Monday, with the biggest boosts from technology and healthcare sectors as investors were optimistic about the earnings season and appeared less worried about U.S. led missile attacks in Syria. S&P 500 companies are expected to report an 18.6% jump in first quarter profit, on average, the biggest rise in seven years, according to Thomson Reuters data. The dollar index against a basket of six major currencies was little changed at 89.415 after losing 0.4% overnight. The euro was steady at $1.2382. The dollar was effectively flat at 107.055 yen. The pound rose to $1.4355, its highest since June 2016 with focus on data that could cement expectations of a May interest rate increase from the Bank of England. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority, HKMA, stepped into the currency market again on Tuesday, buying HK$ 5.77 billion, $735 million, in Hong Kong dollars as the local currency repeatedly hit the lower end of its allowable trading band. The 10-year U.S. Treasury note yield was at 2.834% after rising to 2.865 on Monday, its highest since March 22. U.S. crude oil futures rose 0.5% to $66.57 a barrel after tumbling nearly 1.8% overnight as concerns over tensions in the Middle East waned. Brent crude climbed 0.3% to $71.66 a barrel. 
aluminum hovered near seven-year highs reached the previous day after U.S. sanctions on Russian producer Rizal stirred supply concerns. Aluminum on the London Metal Exchange was at $2,386 per tonne after surging 5% to $2,403 on Monday, its highest since September 2011.